Carol and Gabby, this is certainly one of the busiest operations on the South Carolina coast. This is where all those Greenville County school buses that are headed for the low country this morning wound up. I'm at the North Charleston Coliseum, and what you're looking at here literally is more than 200 school buses. A couple of minutes ago, we also saw some green, uh, City of Greenville Green Link buses. They came down to bring some of the evacuees uh, from the low country back up to the upstate. But here's where things are changing as we speak. I'm told that a few minutes ago they hold, held a big meeting and more than half of the 200 buses that were sent down here this morning are now being sent back to the upstate because they've had very few evacuees show up here wanting to ride to the upstate. In fact, I'm told nine people from the low country showed up here asking for some sort of transportation uh, to the Greenville area. Nevertheless, some of the bus drivers I spoke to uh, a little earlier today said they're very proud to be part of this operation. I'm just grateful to be in a team of people that are willing to devote their time to come this way to help the people, you know, because it, it is a serious storm that's coming through and um, for the safety of everybody, I, I'm, I'm very honored. So right over here, you can see the North Charleston Coliseum. That's where the evacuees, uh, people living in uh, the low country here, were supposed to meet uh, with all these buses out here. And you saw how long the line of buses are. But again, uh, very few people showed up. So now half of these bus drivers here are being sent back to the Greenville area. Uh, but again, they're very proud to have come down and to help out in this effort. Tim Waller, WYFF News 4, live in North Charleston.